you guys. We got Paxton's first Valentine's Day gift, and this is from Brandy. It says, Happy Valentine's Day, and then it's a little note inside here. And then there's a little onesie that says, I will steal your heart, which is cute because raccoons steal food. Look how cute it is. And then there's a little candy from me. That's Paxton's first Valentine's Yay. Day gift. There's my mom. Yay. Say hi. This box is from Caitlin. And then she's a little note on here, which that's a good idea to write. Yeah. I don't know all of that. And there's packages inside. Oh my gosh. I like the box. Oh, that's so cute. That is it. so cute. I love it. Oh my gosh. That is really nice. That's really cute. Oh, it's like the board, like a board they paint. paint on it. Yeah. That looks great. Wow, that's really cute. Wow, you're so spoiled. That's, huh? Oh, that came, look, it came like that. It says right on me. Right on me. That's, that's cute. Nice. That's such a good idea. To Caitlin, Devin, this is for the teacher and us. Ooh, oh, ABC my book. first ABC book. How cute. Yes. And Paxton doesn't have an ABC book. This is cute. Say thank you. And Paxton loves books, right? Say so you guys know Pax loves books. Paxton does too. You know Paxton. Oh, wow. Oh, look, look at the, the cow. Camel. Look at the camel. Look at the bird. Nice. Do you like it? Nice and shiny. Say thank you, Caitlin. And this one says, wow. There's a lot of gifts in here. Yeah. To Devin and family, Caitlin, for your home. Oh, wow. It's Valentine's Day thing. Oh, towels. Ooh, Whoa. little towels. That's so sweet. That's great. Wow, that was cute. Look, you guys. That was really I nice, Caitlin. <laughs> I know. How did you know I needed those? To Devin and Rob, Caitlin, to keep forever. Aww. My baby's print. Create a lasting keepsake or baby foot. Baby's hand or foot. It must be like the, the that stuff up. inside. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's great. That is so like cute. Like plaster of Paris? Yeah. Thank you so much. Paxton, we have to do that tonight. You want to do that? To Paxton. Love Caitlin to keep your little feet warm. Oh, cute. And Paxton has so big cute. feet, so they will fit him now. Say thank you so much, Yay. Caitlin. And he also needed socks. Yay. So cute. Say thank you so much. And this is awesome because you're not gonna bite the box. This matches his. You're not gonna bite the this box. This actually matches down here, or we can put it you're up there. No biting the box. Put no. your toys. No biting you the box. You want to put your toys in there? That was really, really yeah. sweet. Yeah, it's a lot. Thank you so much, Caitlin and Brandy. That was really, really nice. And I will be sending thank you cards out to, you, out to you. And don't think I forgot you, Amy and Nancy. I still have to send thank you cards out to you also. I just haven't I had, really, got those had much thank time. thank you cards for you. That pack was adorable at Target. Oh, at Target? Yeah. Remember I said I, I wanted to do the prints yeah, of him? Yeah, but it would have been nice to just get them. I know. But that's why I feel bad because I was just going to do regular thank you cards. But I wanted you guys to have the picture thank you cards of him. What do you want? So you want the paper? I will be getting on that you this week. You want the paper? Say hi, guys. Hi. Because it's strep. Yeah. A lot of people in our school have strep. We just got done eating. You guys see my eyebrows? I got my eyebrows done. They don't look caterpillars anymore. We had chicken lettuce wraps and ribbons. We wanted to cook up that corned beef. And pack things up. Yeah, I'll have to give Devin that recipe about you. Look at me, It's really easy. Hi, hi. Mm -hmm. That was super good. And we're getting ready to do game night. Actually, yeah, did fall asleep yeah. and he was sleeping for a little bit. But then he woke up. It's so yeah. only early, it's only 7. 20. And look at Maddie. Maddie, are you laying on Paxton's blanket? That's okay, I got washed anyways. Hi, this is like her new spot right here. She likes to lay with all this stuff. So I just pumped a little bit. Just pump that. And. Oh, yeah? That what you saying? Oh, you're so tired. Are you tired or are you awake now? I think you're awake now, that little power. Little power now got you going. Okay, you guys, I was just looking at pictures on Rob's phone. And I was just like looking at pictures of when I was pregnant with Pax and like when I just had him and just seeing how small he was and how much hair he had. And it's just like crazy to think like he's five months now. And I was like getting upset. Like just, it's crazy how fast they grow up. And it's like, obviously he's still only five months, I know that. But it's like, 
your tiny little person that you grew inside of yourself is just growing like right before your eyes and like you wonder where the time is going like i'm getting emotional but i think like when he turns six months i'm really gonna be like a wreck because you know i'll think like wow i can't believe he's six months like these six months have gone by so fast and to think in another six months which will go by before I even know it, he'll be turning a year old. And I know, like, just cherish the moments and everything now. But, you know, it's hard not to think about, and it's, you know, that's life, and it could just goes by you. And if you don't cherish it and, you know, really just thank God for the moments, it's it goes so fast. And I'm so thankful that I have these vlogs to look back on and to watch him and it's amazing to have pictures but to have video is a whole nother thing i mean to hear him laugh and go back to those that video where i heard him laugh for the first time it's just it's amazing and i'm just i'm so blessed for him i mean it doesn't get much better than being mommy it really doesn't and all you mommies out there you know what i'm talking about and the people that are trying to have to get pregnant, I still pray for you constantly because everyone that wants to be a mother deserves to feel the love that I have for my son and you deserve to feel that for a child as well and I pray for you all the time because everyone that wants to be a mother deserves to be a mom and there's no other feeling like it it's just amazing but all right you guys i'm gonna go ahead and go to bed and snuggle with my little man but i will see you guys tomorrow bye say i'm just looking at my new abc book caitlin got you that say thank you caitlin i love it and peas for my baby paxton there's a picture of you we should put one in here for you um we should put p a Paxton picture in here. Uh, wouldn't that be cute? Let me see. We could put it right in between. Right over that plate. We could put a Paxton, huh? Go ahead. Read the book. And eat it. They say to really absorb yourself in what you're reading. Right? And that's what Paxton wants to do. Absorb the book. It is extremely cold. Extremely cold. <laughs> it's only seven o'clock. I hope well, I'm like seven thirty now. I hope it gets warmer. So that's one thing. You know, it's like I don't feel like going out because I don't feel like bundling him up to go out. Can't wait till it gets nice out. Here's Rob. Can you guys see him? There he is outside. Like this floor is like half underground. Well, I don't know if it's like almost it's underground. A tiny bit of it looks like it's underground. And look at that. Those beds, man. Those have to be completely done this for spring. So we can clean it all out and mulch it. And everything like that. Okay, you guys. Pax is taking his first nap. And... For his naps, like at home, I've been napping him in his co-sleeper because we don't have the meshing, the mesh crib thing that goes around the crib. Instead of like, you know how people do the bumper guards, we're just doing the mesh that if he was to put his face up, he could still breathe, but he can't get his legs and arms out. But the white one they haven't been having in stock like every single time I've gone to Baby's R Us, and I don't want him to be able to get his leg or arm out and like twist or something when he rolls over get it stuck because he's not being swaddled so anymore so that would be really dangerous so I'm just putting him in the co-sleeper for now and also for his nighttime routine at 7 o'clock when he goes to bed I'm just putting him in the co-sleeper and then once we get the zippity zip and I get the meshing while he's asleep I'm gonna go pump up my tire because my tire's low, so I gotta go do that. Do, do you know guys notice I talk with my hands all the time. Look, I'm doing it now. All the time, okay? When I edit the vlogs, it is so annoying. And then my dad's like, oh, it's because you're Italian. I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but 
it is so annoying. And it, I don't know if it annoys you guys, but it annoys me. I like, I'm like, oh yeah, like what am I doing? Put your arm down. It's so weird. Hey guys, I am just packing Pax's bag and waiting for him to get up for his nap. He's probably been sleeping for um, 45 minutes, something like that. But yeah, just packing his bag, so then we're going to go to the mall. And I have to get a few things. I'm going to treat myself to new foundation, which I haven't bought myself like good foundation probably since I was like before I was pregnant. I was just getting like um, drugstore foundations and I don't mind drugstore foundations but sometimes when you can't be color matched especially like I have difficult skin to match and I have like yellow or undertones it's really hard to find a arm down <laughs> it's really hard to find a drugstore foundation in my shade because then I end up spending more money on those than if I was just to get color matched and um, find have them match my skin tone and everything so yeah so I'm just gonna do that and I need a new eyebrow pencil but eh. and then I'm gonna go to Old Navy look for a couple outfits for packs that because they're having like a 50% off well up to 50% off that's how they get you up to 50% off percent off because a lot of the stuff I saw online is definitely not 50% off it's like two dollars off but hey I'll take any sale really he was sleeping up in his bassinet, like his co-sleeper, and then he kept waking himself up because he still tends to startle himself, and especially like in the daytime, it's harder for him to take naps, I feel, than like obviously the sleep time because it's nighttime, but so he's already really tired, but yeah, I feel like, like me, still needs to be like cozy, which I can't wait for his zippity zip to come in. And I still haven't gotten any information that is shipped or not. I'm hoping that they just ship it and maybe just didn't tell me because it's already been a week and a day since I ordered it and it still hasn't shipped. So hopefully it'll be here soon because it's hard to have him in nothing and he's totally over the swaddle. But I'm just waiting for him to get up and hopefully he gets up soon. He's been sleeping for almost an hour and a half. I'm not trying to like rush him to get up. I just, I need to get a few things out. And I also am going to look at Baby's R Us for the thing that goes with his crib. But yeah, I'm just waiting and I'm ready for him. I'm going to go ahead and put the car seat in our, in the car. Hi you guys. We just literally like walked through the door. Pax is over there sleeping. Don't worry, I'm not letting him, like I'm not leaving him there. So I just put him down real quick to show you guys. And I got Pax two little Valentine's Day books. And I was going to save them for Valentine's Day, but I want him to read them before Valentine's Day. So I'll show you guys what I got. Oh, yeah. Look at this little cute little guy I got from, from Hallmark yesterday with my mom. Kiss me quick. Look how cute it is. So cute. Stop. It's not for you. And I have a thing for stuffed animals. Like, if there's anything I would love to fill my house with, it would be stuffed animals. Like, I... Seriously, if I would be a hoarder, it would be stuff that... It's not for you. Stop it. You'll get your own thing. It's, um... It would be stuffed animals because I just love them. Like, I wasn't really into Barbies. I used to like dolls and stuff. But stuffed animals, it's my soft spot. And I just love them. And now that I have Paxton, I have an excuse why to buy them. But, okay, that's his little guy. And I also got him a little card. It's like my first Valentine's Day card. So... That's over there. And then I got some stuff from Alta. These were on sale. Llama Llama, I love you. Because I love the Llama Llama books. And my Valentine for Jesus. Which I was looking online for my Christian books. And this was actually there. And I was so excited because it seemed really cute. And it's a book I was telling you guys about that I could bring to church. So I probably would just keep this out. I don't know. I don't really want to put it back. Oh, and then they had this one that was called, I was looking for, I couldn't find it there. It was Jesus Calls, and it's like devotional, it's like a devotional book for like little kids. And I really want to get that. And then I got him a hungry little caterpillar, because this was so super cute, and it's a 50th year anniversary. So look how cute, and it's like super bright, and he really, really seemed to like it. So I got this for him. Look at that little guy. It's for Valentine's Day, too. So, he's done for Valentine's Day. That's his stuff. And that's plenty of stuff. 
So it is 7.30 and I'm super tired. I did not sleep that good last night. I was just like, my nose was dry. I like couldn't breathe. On top of it, he woke up at three o'clock and the a little section of the sheets were wet. His pajamas were wet, so he leaked through. So he's definitely needing to go into size three diapers. I just am trying to use the rest of those size twos up. We're getting ready to leave for church and we're actually driving like 45 minutes and we're going to Rob's mom's church. They don't know we're coming. We'll kind of surprise them, but I figured that would be nice because, you know, I'll be by myself. So they'll get to see him also. Where? Because she brings them to Bible study, but oh my gosh, I'm an idiot. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to tell you what I did. Wow. I have my camera case. And I'm walking around looking for my camera. Okay? I'm vlogging with it. What? Mommy needs help, Paxton. Oh my gosh. That was bad. Like, sometimes I'll look for my sunglasses and they're on my face or my phone it's in my pocket. But seriously, I'm looking at you guys and I'm looking for my camera and it's in my hand. That was bad. Let me know. Leave a comment down below of, like, what you've searched for and it was right in front of your face because that was really bad. Like, I need help. And my voice is still gone. And now I'm starting to sound like a man. Before I liked it because it was like kind of raspy. But now I'm starting to sound like a straight up man. So I just sterilized one of his clean bottles. Because I'm bringing a bottle to church with me. Because sometimes, well last week I started this where I bring a bottle. And if I don't use it, I'll just use it within 24 hours of, you know, defrosting it. It'll be his first bottle that he gets tomorrow. So if he doesn't use it there, it's fine. But just in case, because lots of times, if I have to go out and nurse and I'm missing the whole sermon, there's really no point for me to be there because I'm missing the whole thing. So I bring a bottle and that way I, because I've nursed them once at church, like in church and I just didn't leave. And it was just kind of uncomfortable because I like, you know, more dressed up and I... I don't know, it just wasn't comfortable, and everyone's quiet, and he's, like, grunting under there, so it's just easier to have a bottle with me, and that way he'll take it, and if he doesn't want it, that's fine. I'll just save it for the next day. Hey, guys, we just got home from church, and Rob's mom and dad were super surprised that we were there, but oh, my gosh, Paxton, you saw him. He was so sad. My dad, who doesn't really see him that much, he doesn't get to really see him, Um, he's scared of my dad. He's scared of his voice. Me and my mom will start talking, and then my dad will start talking, and he starts like crying. Like he puts his lip down, like, and then he starts crying. It goes bad. I was telling him that. I started crying. Ready? Hold on. What? Talk. Talk to Paxton. Paxton, hey, what's the matter? Come on, come on, come here, come to pop up. Look at him. Cry! Isn't that so What's the sad? What's the matter? Huh? I think he's like, I don't want to talk about it. Stay away from me. Scared of my pop -up. That's the first time I've ever seen him do that. He's probably just not positive of him. Right? I'll just have a one, okay? I love you, but don't talk. You're scaring me. Oh, it's okay, baby. Hi, Baxton. Hi. You playing outside? It is so nice out. It's about 60 degrees and it feels even warmer than that. Like, I feel hot with this little sweater on. So we are just hanging out and we just I just had lunch. But, oh my gosh, it was, can you guys even see me? It was like crazy. So he was like so afraid of my dad. I mean, he sees him like once in a while on Mondays because if my dad has to go, to work then he, obviously he's not here so he doesn't really see him that often but it was so sad it was the saddest thing Paxton were you scared of pop up no the church was fun I was such a good boy I'm always such a good boy at church huh why are you such a good boy at church you like church <laughs> What are you doing? You could break it. You are gonna break the thing. Look. He thinks it's funny. You think that's funny? You go get it. You go get it. 
You will get it? Oh, you will get it? Look how much wood we have, you guys. Seriously? That's crazy. What you doing with the loose diapers? Got my dish ones on? <laughs> He missed it today. He it was the first time he ever like really cried because at somebody. Who? My dad. Really? Yeah, my dad started talking to me. He started crying. Like, Aww. His uh, his lip went under like. Mm. I have it on video. Oh. Say good morning, everybody. Good morning. Here's Gracie. I didn't realize that I forgot to end the vlog last night, so this will be the ending for Monday's vlog, so let's insert it now.